These are the seven big ways to improve your life by doing this one important step. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Lauren, also known as Miss Lauren Lee 11. And today, what I am talking about is prioritizing. Whether you spell prioritize with an S or a Z, at some point we have to just do it. And I'm here to help. For me personally, I used to find it so hard to prioritize and organize my life due to one big factor I used to do all the time. And if you've not already guessed it, it's procrastinate. I used to procrastinate and just find every other thing I could do except for the thing I was actually meant to be doing. Now, if you're guilty of that, guys, I can help you. Okay, so let's get all the technical stuff out of the way. What does prioritize mean exactly? According to the free dictionary, prioritize means to arrange or deal with in an order of importance. Now guys, there's a difference between urgency and importance. Importance is achieving a goal that's important to us. Urgency is something that needs to be completed achieving someone else's goal. Let me give you an example. So for instance, something that's important to me is getting this video out there and editing it and uploading it. That's important to me. However, I might need an urgent bill, let's say, that needs attending to. That will need to be done first because I need to get that out of the way. It's not, it's important to me, but not as important as my video, but it's urgent. Hopefully that makes sense. Either way, whether it's importance or urgency, both goals are being completed. So where would you start in that essence? I personally would start in the urgent one. Even though I have a list of importance, the urgent one, if it has a deadline and my important task can wait just for a little bit, then I would start with the urgent one. I would say that, guys. Don't worry if I'm going too fast, guys. I will be doing a series of these videos talking about specific topics. So how to prioritise your bills, workload, homeschooling, home, and just your life in general. Okay, so don't worry, guys. There's more to come. But I'm just literally giving you a general synopsis using these examples, okay? Okay, so, so now I'm going to tell you the seven ways that prioritising can improve your life. And for this reason, I have actually prioritised these seven ways. So I'm going to start with the most important to me first and the most important one is completing goals this is ultimately why we prioritize because we want a goal to complete we set a goal it needs to be completed something needs to be done so we need to see what needs to be done in matter of urgency and importance you don't know where to start you don't know what to do so what i suggest you do guys or what i personally do is just write a list down and then from that list decide what's important what's urgent and then that's how you prioritize you break it down small parts guys that is the key not working at the big load and feeling overwhelmed because if you feel overwhelmed you will procrastinate and that is one of my points that i will be talking about shortly but let's get back to this so i'm going to give you an example from my personal experience a couple of years ago i had to arrange a surprise birthday party for my dad and we had three months to do it in where to start now, when it comes to my dad, he doesn't like surprises, so we had to figure out how to do this, okay? And I started where I started. Now, what I mean by this, first things first, we needed a venue. We needed invites, music, we needed, dates, we and we needed to tell the birthday boy. <laughs> right, so where I started first, guys, I literally just done a spider diagraph. I said, what was most important, not necessarily urgent, I don't really think there was much urgency on this birthday list, but it was more important. So the key important thing was to find a venue with a date. Okay? So once we booked the venue and had a date, then I could start sending out invites and then I could tell my dad so he could take time off work. That was the most important thing. Secondly, we needed to sort out food. So we needed to get everyone's dietary requirements once we knew how many invitees were attending and we also needed to get drinks and music now the music was something easy to do so that was of less importance i just created a playlist on spotify and if you would like me to show you how to create a playlist on spotify no problem i can do that in a separate video but let's get back to this so pretty much the things that were less important but still important guys was as i said food decoration music and drinks once everybody had the date and venue, they were able to take their time off from work once I sent out the invites. Uh, once I told my dad, he was able to take that time off from work and we just got going. That eliminated the stress. As you can see, just breaking it down like that, what steps were important and where to start. Another That's thing I've done to alleviate the stress was delegate work. My sister and I decided to share duties. So I delegated some work to my sister. So she was in charge of purchasing food and drinks. 
I was in charge of doing decorations and music. My mum was in charge of doing the cake. Thank you, mum. Pretty much that took the stress off me on top of it. So we just had our own lanes. We knew what we was doing and we knew we had a goal to complete. We also had a deadline. So there was slight urgency to it. It's not hard guys, I promise you. But honing in on my experience that I just mentioned, the next one on my list was feeling rewarded pulled the party off, everything came together nicely because we knew what we were doing and I felt rewarded. It was the one gift that we really wanted to give to our dad and we were able to achieve that through prioritizing and organizing. Yes, I felt rewarded, not only from the final goal, which was the surprise party, everything went well, but I felt rewarded every time I completed a task. Going to get the haul and the date that I needed, but good, because I was like, okay, we can start then sending out the invites and getting everyone's dietary requirements. Again, I felt rewarded because now I have something else to work on and I can move forward. So it's just given me a step to move forward to the end result, which was the surprise party. Number four, prioritizing motivates you. This goes hand in hand with the three aforementioned points. And now you feel like you can accomplish and achieve more. So that is your motivation. And it also gives you motivation to move on to a completely new goal. With each goal that you set, push yourself a little bit further and achieve bigger goals and that's where it starts guys okay so for the fifth factor it creates better time management i have worked on my skills for prioritizing and organizing for many many years i've always been someone that needs to write a to-do list let's put it that way <laughs> but my time management was terrible it's improved a lot it's someone who has amazing amazing prioritization and organization skills has terrible time management oh the irony but hey i'm a person I'm still a person this is why i don't put too much pressure on myself it's because there's room for error i make mistakes we all make mistakes however the key is not to be too hard on yourself prioritizing definitely helped me with this skill i figure out a time frame in which i can complete this goal i'm not just sitting there squandering my time procrastinating and that brings me on to my next point it helps you to avoid procrastination and creates and instills discipline. Now that I can say, my procrastination would make me feel low. And even though I know I've got something important or urgent to do, I used to, used to procrastinate. However, I'm not always as disciplined as I would like. My disciplinary skills for myself have become a lot better. I can't go and start watching Netflix or do some knitting. Yes, I knit. <laughs> there is something in me that I need to prove to myself. I think I'm competitive with myself. I don't like to compete with others because then that will cause me to procrastinate. I don't like competition, but with myself, yes, I like to compete with my past self <laughs> and improve my task all the time. Okay, so this brings me to my my final seventh important but not as important as the first point which means it gives me more time to focus on other things now when I'm saying focus on other things I don't necessarily mean Netflix I know I keep mentioning Netflix because that's all I seem to do in my past time at the moment <laughs> it gives me time to focus on other things such as meditation and yoga now I know I mentioned those at the beginning of this video um, I do predominantly do my yoga in the mornings and I haven't been keeping up with my meditation as much. However, now I have the time because I've completed my tasks, I make sure I take care of me. I have to take care of me because if I'm not good, then my family's not good. I also read a lot because I always like to gain new information. Watching things like Discovery Channel or reading certain books, just picking up new skills and learning new things and finding out new things about myself. And that's what I have more time for and I love it. And what's added to the additional time that I have is obviously being in quarantine, being in lockdown, and I don't mind. I love it. <laughs> Those are the seven big ways to improve your life doing this one important thing, which is prioritizing. So if you have not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below in the description box. I hope you find this video helpful. I will be doing weekly videos. If you do need to ask me questions, directly guys you can dm me at my instagram at miss lauren lee 11 and that will be it for now but one thing i will say guys if you take anything away from this video is to prioritize in increments okay might sound cliche but it's very true <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next week bye